I was gone a long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? Youngest pick them every one. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all Their guitar heroes. All right, well, we've got a, another kind of a protest song, but uh, obviously a, uh, a sad song as, as well. Written by Pete Seeger in 1955 and then became real popular when Peter, Paul, and Mary uh, recorded this song in 62. We've only got, uh, uh, you know, four or five chords here, uh, and we don't have any, we don't really have a chorus per se. I guess you can kind of say it's built into each verse. We've got five verses, and that's all we got. Uh, no bridges are really just this, the same kind of pattern going through all five uh, verses. So I start out with a D. I go to B minor, which is the common minor chord in the key of D. We got a G, and we got an A. Of course, those are the other two major chords in the key of D. And uh, so uh, there is an E minor in the, in, in the last line. So let's go through the first verse. D, where have all the B minor flowers gone? G, long time A, passing. Same pattern. D, where have all the B minor flowers gone? Then an E minor instead. E minor, long time uh, A, go. D, where have all the flowers gone? B minor, G, young girls pick them. A, everyone, G, when will they, D, ever learn? E minor, when will they, A7, ever learn? And that is the pattern for, for the entire song. Um, so we got a D, we got a B minor, we got a G, we got an A, and we got, an, we got an E minor. So two minors, E minor and B minor, those are the two common ones in the, in the key of D. Uh, and uh, because D 
G and A are there, we get an A7, so there you go. We've got basically six, six different chords uh, in this song. Uh, the pattern, this thing, the song is, can, be, you know, can be picked up by either pick or finger picking. Sounds terrific because it's got kind of a slow pace. And if you strum it, obviously it'd be some light strumming. It wouldn't, wouldn't be any hammering on the chords here. And let's see what kind of a pace do we have. Obviously, this song's got a lot of meaning, <laughs> and uh, certainly not a happy ending. Uh, uh, probably because of the the year here. I know this was 1955 was probably before the Korean War, but close enough to uh, World War II. And I guess we're just talking about war in general, and how sad it is to uh, uh, to have the soldiers go to war and, and come home in a box, uh, so to speak. And things were really bad in, in uh, that World War II when a, a million boxes came back. It's just really hard to believe. It's bad enough in, in Vietnam. Uh, I know it was, what, 50, 60,000 uh, young men uh, died. Uh, but when you think about a million, oh, man, that's just really hard to, hard to understand. So great song, great lyrics, lots of meaning. Pete Seeger, 1955, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Uh, updated by Peter Paul and Mary in 1962. All right, take it easy. Hope you got something out of this lesson. Keep on strumming out there.